What's up you beautiful people? Thank you once again for tuning into my channel. I'm Sadiq and today we are going to be building the Lego Lamborghini FKP 37. Just show, wanted to show you the box real quickly. This is a monster. Yeah, it's pretty big. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be the biggest Lego set I'm going to be building. I'm pretty sure there is a lot out there which is has far more big pieces out there. But just out of the box, this one is for 18 plus. It has approximately 3,696 pieces and the model number is 42115. So this is the latest set that came out from the house of Lego from a technique point of view. Uh, the last set that came out was the Bugatti Chiron, which was extremely detailed as well. One of the main reason I like this piece over the Bugatti Chiron is that a lot of the parts were made, the Lego parts that were made just for this Lego Scion piece alone, Lego Lamborghini Scion. Um, and also I feel that this looks a lot closer to the original model that Bugatti Chiron did. Uh, I don't know, I could be wrong, let me know what you think. A lot of the parts uh, are specific to this model as well, which is very, very unique, I find. Um, they, don't, they haven't built those parts for any other Lego sets, so definitely this is a very, very unique set, that, and that's why I was really excited and I picked it up for myself. Also, this car in real life is worth $3.6 million, so not a lot of us can afford that, so we got the next best thing, which is a Lego set. So a few things about the Lamborghini Scion before we go into the build. Lamborghini Scion is a mid-engine sports car from Lamborghini, which is also a hybrid electric sports car, and it is going to be only limited to 63 in total number of production. With 770 horsepower, this car can go 0 to 60 miles an hour in 2.8 seconds and has a top speed of 350 kilometers an hour. That's just crazy. So the FKP was to honor the late Volkswagen Group Chairman Ferdinand Peach. I hope I didn't butcher the name. And the 37 was the year of his birth, which was 1937. So without further ado, let's unbox this puppy. Let's open up this box. Okay. Awesome. I think there should be numbered somewhere. Lego parts comes in different box in the shape of a groove of the engine. And this is number two. And the main guide. Let's open this up. This is book one. This is actually the manual of building the Lego set. If you can see that. I wonder how many pages this is. This is 309. No, oh, more than that. 320 pages. And this one, there's actually two guides. This is book two. Nice. Anything else? No. Pretty nice box overall. This is the back. Okay, let's get building.
So now let's do a quick walk around the Lamborghini Cyan. So as you can see, this is a pretty accurate representation of the actual car. So it's really well designed. I think Lego has done a fantastic job of designing this car. So let's see, this door actually works pretty well. I had to figure things out a little bit, but uh, the door now actually stays up by itself. Uh, a lot of people I heard online were having some problem. Uh, I think it's just the way it fits. The door doesn't actually go down all the way. So you can see like here, it just kind of stays slanted a little bit. So that way, if you do that and use this part to lift it up, uh, the door kind of stays up pretty well. And the mechanism is right over here, as you can see. For those of you who are having some issues, it just kind of goes like that. Uh, so make sure the hinge is moving properly. That way, the door will actually stay up. Uh, when you're doing that. So yeah, right over there. Uh, I'm just gonna close up a little bit right there. That's the hinge and that's how it looks. It's actually pretty cool. Um, the wheels move, you can do it through the steering wheel and I'm just gonna try to show it here. Um, you know, if you smooth every steering wheel, those wheels actually smooth pretty cool. Um, so it's, it's actually functional. So it's really pretty awesome. Um, let me just try to show you the gears. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it one-handed, but let me try. So this part is really cool. You can actually see the transmission moving if you flip the car. So I'll try to move it from underneath the car here. So I'm just trying to try to see if I can shift the gear and you can see the transmission parts moving. So it's pretty awesome. Like it's a, I think it's like a two gear setup, if I'm not mistaken. So the moving parts is pretty cool. Um, it does take out quite a bit of time. And one thing I have to say, and I figured out as I was working through it is that you have to make sure all the pieces and the orientation is correct because you, if you try to fix it later on, on, on the, uh, as you're building it, it's such a big pain as I was working on the door. Um, and I still have to fix one part of it later on. I was just, I just, figured out it was very late, so I didn't really want to go into it right now, but I'm pretty sure uh, at some point when I have some time, I'll put into it. Sorry guys, this has been dirty. Like we do have a dog and yeah, there's quite a bit of hair. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, just one advice is that when you're building it, pay extra attention on the orientation, uh, the pieces you're using it, where you're putting it, because at the end, once you're done, if you have to rectify a mistake, it's definitely not going to be as easy as uh, the time of the building, for sure. Cool features also include uh, engine pistons that actually move. So you can see it. Uh, this video was taken prior to the complete build. So you can see here, yeah, like all the pistons that are on the outside actually move. The other part of the car I really like is how you can actually go into the back and actually really see the engine. Um, it really looks fantastic. Like, look, some of these parts, these are not stickers, uh, guys. These are actually Lego parts. Uh, I understand they built this particularly for this Lego Lamborghini. Yeah, so it's, it looks really fantastic, uh, as you can see. So that's the full scale of the car and that's the way the engine. And you actually have this cover, which is the back panel of the Lego, which kind of just fits right there. I'm doing it one-handed, so I apologize if it's taking me, I look a little sloppy right there. So it looks really nice. Um, and yeah, if you really wanna look or you can show off to your friend that your Lego Lamborghini engine, you can just lift this up and there you go. That's your engine bay. So it looks really amazing. One of the concerns I found on some of the forums online is that how the color on the Lego pieces doesn't match the entire across all the what I'm trying to say is that the color is actually pretty choppy across the Lego Lamborghini. So that is kind of true, as you can see, if I'm coming in really close right over here, this piece is really, um, this is a different shade than this one and the other pieces. So it's, it's not a deal breaker for me, for sure. Like it's still a fantastic design, but um, I would definitely have to say as a, feedback to Lego, uh, particularly such a piece like this, which is not cheap. 
uh, they should have actually paid a little bit more attention on the color and the color scheme particularly on this side too as you can see this is black uh, but it's not really fully black here I'm gonna focus on right here so you can see this is a a little bit matte colored where this piece is a little bit different color so it's like i said it's not a deal breaker so if you you'll really enjoy it guys as you're building it so i don't think at the end you will really care but uh once again it's slighter details i think lego should really focus on later on also there's this tiny little bag lamborghini bag uh not the most realistic thing but hey that's it guys hope you enjoyed that video as you can tell it took me multiple days to build that lego set in the meantime i've changed shirts t-shirts even got a haircut finally so until next time take excellent care of yourself love and respect each other just like the way you like to be loved and respected until next time love you guys bye